Hey guys, welcome back to Team Deathslinger. My name is Peter, and today we're looking at full power Chaos Galatmon post LM pack release. Without further ado, let's get right into it for our eggs. We are back to running the BT5 Gijimon. Your turn, once per turn, when one of your other Digimon is deleted. This Digimon gets 2k DP for the turn. We're going to try and be really aggressive with this build, because I think that's the most fun way to play Chaos Galatmon right now. Uh, and this 2k DP Inheritable is going to be really important to make our Chaos Galatmons and our Megidramons. 14k gets over most level 6s, and should make sure that we can swing into security pretty safely. For our rookies, we're on four copies of the BT11 Ignitemon. We really care about this inheritable that says all turns once per turn when you play Digimon by an effect, gain one memory. We're going to lean into BT5 Chaos Galamon's ability to play us back a rookie uh, when one of our Digimon is deleted on our turn. So being able to re replay the rookies and net memory off of it is going to make sure that we have memories to make uh, some of our late game plays and make sure we can't get choked to one because we don't run any memory setters uh, or really tamers that gain us memory in this deck. We're on two copies of the BT5 Yield Bond. On deletion, if this card was deleted by an effect, you gain one memory. Going to synergize really, really well with the Chaos Galamon when Digivolving effect to delete another Digimon. To pop a level 5 or lower, this nets us one memory back on the play and essentially makes Chaos Galamon a 3-cost Evo. And this is also a great target for the Cerberus Mon X Antibody. You can delete it, unsuspend the Chaos Galamon to swing again, and this will gain you one memory back uh, off of that deletion trigger. We're on three copies of the EX5 Labramon. We want to make sure that we have enough instances of this memory gain inheritable to be effective. Uh, so this is just additional redundancy on the memory gain on effect. Uh, and the on play comes up sometimes by attaching a card in your hand. You can return a dark animal or shaman trait from trash to hand. If you play this out with a scramble or something, you can potentially grab back a piece that you're missing to make it up a line and make a comeback play. We have two copies of the EX4 Gilmon. Uh, on play, if the total number of cards in both players' trash is 20 or more, this Digimon gains Rush for the turn. This is one of the really, really great cards uh, now that Scrambles are out, and we have the ability to play this out, potentially closing out a game uh, if the opportunity arises. So definitely want to run enough copies that we see it. For our level 4 base, there's going to be some variety here. There's also going to be variety in the level 5s, and we'll talk about it when we get there. Uh, but for this version of the deck, I'm running three copies of the BT14 Ogremon. Your turn once per turn when one of your effects trashes a card in the hand to gain one memory. The Inheritable says the same thing. Uh, these are our efficiency pieces that kind of complement the Dark Animal Engine. Uh, I like to run 3 and 3 of this in the Dobermon X, just because it ensures that I will probably see an efficiency piece. And if I don't, I see one of my four copies of the Black Graumon from BT5. Uh, your turn once per turn. When one of your other Digimon is deleted, this Digimon gets Security Attack plus 1. Because we are running the Dark Animal Engine to get efficiency, get into Chaos Gallopmon quickly, we have the opportunity to be uh, deleting our other Digimon on swing to unsuspend. And if we're going to have the opportunity to do that, being able to get security plus one kind of makes our boss monster a more immediate threat than it would be otherwise. We go from being a deck that's kind of middling and not really that effective at closing out games, you know, maybe you get hit by a Crimson Mode Ace and get to win the game that way, to now I am threatening to swing five checks as soon as I see my boss monster, and if you do not delete my boss monster, I'm going to hit you for five checks, and that is uh, much, much more scary, uh, in my opinion, than the stall version of the deck that we were running previously. But if you do want to run the stall version, you can substitute these four copies of Black Gralmon with the Black Gautamon from EX6, uh, I believe, or EX7. Um, and that'll bring you back towards the stall version of the build where when the opponent attacks, you can delete the rookie, stop the attack, uh, and you can play the game that way. And there's some level 5 changes you can make for that as well. Uh, but right now, I like the Black Gralmon a lot. I think the aggro is just kind of really, really insane. The scrambles help this deck a lot to close out games after you get your 5 checks. Um, and the Dark Animal Engine is so fast that you're very, very much less uh, setup reliant than you used to be to make this uh, kind of five check shenanigans happen. Like we mentioned before, we're on three copies of the Dobermon X Antibody. On play, uh, one of your Digimon gets retaliated until the end of the opponent's turn, and when Digivolving, you can draw one, trash one, uh, and the Inheritable will gain us a memory when we play a Digimon by an effect. This guarantees that if we have this and the Labramon in our stack with the Chaos Galamon, we're going to be able to get some really, really memory-efficient plays going. We can get two back when we lose a Digimon. Uh, otherwise, this will be occupied with the Sec plus one slot, and we just get one memory back on the stack. For our level 5s, 3 copies of the BT16 Cerberus Mon on play and when Digivolving, you can return a Digimon card with the Dark Animal or Shaman trait from your trash to the hand. This makes sure that if Cerberus X is in trash, you can just grab it back rather than worrying about the protoform. More importantly, the Inheritable says when an effect plays one of your Digimon, one of your Digimon gains Rush for the turn. This enables some really cheeky stuff with BT5 Chaos Gallimon where you can swing the Chaos Gallimon, pop the Rookie to unsuspend, you get 2 checks of the Black Gralmon, you swing 2 more checks of the Black Gralmon, and you can give the Rookie that you play back with the Chaos Gallimon effect Rush so that you can swing for that fifth check and now the opponent has no security and they got to figure out how to stop you from getting one check in before they end the game 
We also run three copies of the Cerberus Mod X Antibody because it is the Dark Animal Engine. It can Evo on Cerberus Mod for zero, otherwise it costs three. On play, you can play one purple level three Digimon card from your trash without paying the cost, and when Digivolving, you draw one trash one. If you have Cerberus Mon or X Antibody in your sources, you activate the on play. So in a perfect world, this will draw you one trash you want and let you play a rookie from the trash. The Inheritable also lets you delete one of your other Digimon to unsuspend, so that enables our shenanigans with Chaos Gallantmon. Uh, it's really memory efficient with the Proto form. And the really cool thing about this is that if we have uh, the Black Ramon in the stack and we have one of these two memory gain rookies and we proto form into this, uh, we're going to be going into this for two memory. We're going to play a rookie back on it and we're going to gain one memory back. So that still makes us a one memory play. Uh, even if we don't have the level four that gains us a memory on the stack, you just lose a little bit of efficiency in your BT5 Chaos Gallimon. Uh, we are still running one copy of Lady Devimon X Antibody on play when Digivolving until the end of your opponent's turn. One of their Digimon gains end of attack, delete this Digimon, and then if you have X Antibody or Lady Devimon, you play a Volans or Drukin token. The Inheritable says opponent's turn when any of your opponent's Digimon are deleted, you can play a level 4 or lower purple Digimon card from your trash out paying the cost. We have a very specific reason for running this, and that's because there's a lot of protection running around. This aggressive build struggles to hit some higher level Digimon, uh, and this is going to be a good way to make sure that you can punish things like Magna X or things that are outside of your deletion thresholds to stop them from attacking for a turn uh, and if we do evo into this with a protoform we get a bolands or drukin token which is an excellent blocker uh, and we do also get the memory back on our stack so this is still a really efficient level five to go into uh, we wind up netting one cost on this evo and the inheritable work really really well uh, with mcgidramon ace and with the crimson mode ace so we can net a level four back that way so just all around a great level five and i like it at one like i was saying earlier if you want to go with the more stally grindy build you can just go for the uh lady debbie monix antibody and the basti mons as your level five pool rather than the Cerberus mon and Cerberus mon x's uh, those are the two ways i'd really recommend playing uh the deck but uh i definitely again i still think the aggro version is tons of tons of fun for our level sixes, four copies of BT5 Chaos Gallimon. This is the boss monster of the deck. When Digivolving, you may delete one of your other Digimon to delete one of your opponent's level five or lower Digimon. Your turn, when one of your other Digimon is deleted, you may play a level three purple Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost. On plays, don't activate. So this is how we're farming level threes with our Cerberus Mon and Cerberus Mon X Inheritable. When you swing in, you're going to pop it on suspend. Uh, this will let you play a rookie back, and then you can give it rush with the Cerberus Mon and try and close out the game. Now that LM pack is here, we get access to the McGeedramon Ace. This is a Blast Evo. Uh, on play and when Digivolving, you delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 11k DP or less. And all turns when this Digimon would leave the battle area, you play a Gilmon from its sources or from trash without paying the cost. If this effect played, you place this as its bottom source. So this stops McGeedramon from leaving the board. You do not trigger overflow on this and you get a rookie back if it dies. Otherwise, this is just an excellent hand trap to have uh, because this deck is really, really efficient at getting to the level five stage. Because we are running the Dark Animal Engine, we're going to have extra bodies floating around and those bodies can get to level five really easily and start threatening this McGeedramon Ace, which is going to catch your opponent uh, kind of in a tricky position where they can't really safely swing with most level sixes if they're not above the 11k DP threshold. This also has an inheritable that adds 5k to your max dp on deletion based effects so you can hit uh, a wider range of targets with the crimson mode ace you'll be able to select up to 20k dp rather than 15k which is really 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 brutal we are still running one copy of the chaos gallimon from ex4 uh trash end of your turn you can delete one of your digimon with digivolution cards and gallimon in its name to play this card without paying the cost and then on play you delete one of your opponent's digimon 7k dp or less for every 10 cards in both players trashes you add 2k to the max dp very 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 important note that you must know if you're playing this card this does not work with the Megidramon Ace. The reason why is because when Megidramon Ace tucks itself underneath a Gilmon, it does not count as leaving the board. That's why your overflow trigger does not proc, which means you cannot fulfill the condition for EX4 Chaos Gallimon and play it from the trash that way. So keep in mind that you cannot do that. Uh, on another note, this is still definitely worth running. Uh, you can pop your Chaos Gallimons to pop Blast Aces, and potentially even there are circumstances where I want to pop the Crimson Mode Ace uh, to pop an opponent's Blast Ace to stop them from winning the game, and because both overflows are triggering, I'm not actually paying the overflow 5 on the Crimson Mode Ace, then it doesn't feel quite as bad. So definitely still worth running at 1. Um, yeah, it's a great card. We have one copy of Shine Greymon Ruin Mode when Digivolving and on Deletion until the end of your opponent's next turn. All of your opponent's Digimon get minus 5k DP. End of attack, delete this Digimon and one of your opponent's Digimon and recover one. And then if you have a Tamer, you hatch a Digi Egg to an empty space in your breeding area. The really kind of important thing about this card, I think this is a flex card in this deck. Uh, you can run Death X in this slot or you can run Ruin Mode. I like Ruin Mode more because you are running the Dark Animal Engine. We have a lot of efficiency in this deck and that means we are likely to get to Ruin Mode uh, at a position where it kind of really hurts the opponent and stops them from doing something that they want to do, which I like. So 
Having access to the rune mode, I feel is really impactful, but again, this is a great slot to slot in your Death X or whatever other tech card you want. You don't even have to run the level 7 flex. Uh, you could be dropping this and one other card, and you could get two uh, analog utes uh, or other cards that suit your fancy. So keep in mind, this is a flex slot. Uh, for our last level 7, we have two copies of the Gallimon Crimson Mode Ace. This has on play and when digivolving, delete up to 15k total DP worth of your opponent's Digimon with the Megijimon Ace. That will be 20k when attacking once per turn for every 10 cards total in both players' trashes. Tr trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. Really great effect, great ender. If you can catch your opponent off guard, you can ace into this on top of your Chaos Gallimon because it has Gallimon in name. Uh, and then you can close out the game if there's a lot of cards in trash. Uh, we have one copy of Demonic Disaster. I think that this is hilarious in this deck. This is the other flex slot that I was saying you could drop. You could run Megiddo Flame here uh, with the Scrambles. This is a great opportunity to put the Memory Gain Gilmon in play with the Scramble, pop it with the Megiddo Flame, and then delete a level 6 for 3 memory, and possibly Overflow if it's an Ace. Uh, I like Hades Force because there's lots of level 6 Ace targets that you can hit, lots of level 7 Ace targets that you don't have a good way to delete. That Hades Force hits and then triggers Overflow, uh, and you're really paying two, 1 or 2 memory for a deletion effect. Um, but Demonic Disaster is hilarious in this deck because Chaos Galmon has the ability to gain you memory back, uh, which means that you can potentially swing six checks uh, with your Chaos Galmon, and then you can also uh, use uh, one of these Miss Memory Boosts if you have it in play or you have a way to gain memory back, uh, potentially off of playing the Digimon with an effect. Um, you can just hard play a level three and then get in there with a the rush check. We have the rush Gilmon. So uh, there are worlds where you're going to swing your six checks and then just hard play a level three because you have three memory and you're going to win the game that way, which is just really funny to me. The security effect is also kind of cool. You can play a level three purple Digimon from your trash without paying its memory cost. So if your opponent hits this in security, sometimes just getting a free level three off of this is enough to swing the game in your favor and get you the win. So one copy of this feels great to me. Uh, definitely play around and see what you like in this slot, though. Also, this has Chaos Galmon in the art, so... <laughs> feels pretty cool to run it uh like we said earlier two copies of miss memory boost trash top two cards of your deck and draw one then place this in the battle area it also has delay gain to memory so this is a good way to get memory back uh it can potentially put your chaos gallimons in the trash and we do kind of care about trash count because of this card and our crimson mode ace so we might as well pick the memory boost that uh builds us trash as well we're on two copies of purple scramble one of the other new cards from the lm pack on main one of your purple digimon may digivolve into a purple digimon card in the hand with the digivolution cost reduced by three then place this card in the battle area Start of your turn if your opponent has a Digimon delay. Return a purple Digimon card from your trash to the top of the deck. And if you don't have a Digimon, you can play a purple Digimon 2k or DP less from your trash without paying the cost. The great thing about this, again, security effect too. You play a purple Digimon card with 2k or less from your trash and then add this to your hand. Now we have three cards counting the Demonic Disaster. They're going to play you level threes from the trash. And this is going to potentially net you back that Rush Gale Monster start of turn. Uh, and you can just close out the game that way. Otherwise, this is just a free level three. We're running the Dark Animal Engine. I keep saying it because it's important. Uh, we have a lot of efficiency and get Getting the free level 3 is a great way to build back uh, into a really impactful stack. Uh, also, using this to Evo into Chaos Gallimon turns it into a 3 cost Evo. If you have the Memory Gain Gilmon on board, this is now a 2 cost Evo instead of the normal 3 or 4 cost it would cost you. So, this feels pretty good in the deck. We're on 4 copies of Wisdom Training. I still think it's the best search package for this deck. Um, reveal top 2, grab a purple card, and then delay, reduce the Evo by 2. You cannot grab your Crimson Mode uh, Aces. This still plagues us to this day. Uh, if you, it really, really bothers you, I, I'm sorry, me too. Um, but best search package for this deck. Uh, lastly, I know everybody hates it. I hate it too, but here's the thing. This is my favorite deck, and I am running this card because it is so, so good, uh, and I have spent the money on these, so I'm going to run them. Uh, main, one of your Digimon without X Antibody in its Digivolution cards can Digivolve into an X Antibody trait in your hand with the cost reduced by one if it did place this card as the bottom source, and then when this Digimon would leave the battle area other than by one of your effects from your sources, return a Digimon card to the hand and place X antibody on top of your security. So this is kind of the heart and soul of the X, uh, the Dark Animal Engine. It's going to allow you to Evo into this for cheaper. It's going to turn on your X antibody uh, servers mons, and it's going to let Lady Devimon X antibody actually work. Uh, if you're really, really, really hurting for money and you don't want to proxy this, you could just run regular X antibody. It's going to be a little bit less efficient. You're going to get. Uh, you don't get memory discounts, which really hurts. I mean, the whole point of the Dark Animal Engine is the efficiency. But at the end of the day, if you're playing this deck for fun, uh, because you're playing Chaos Gallimon, uh, like I am, you, you're probably not playing it in a regional or something, go ahead and run the X Antibodies, try them, see if they work. Uh, but you, you might just want to see if I'm proxying this card. I know, it's 50, 50 bucks, it hurts, but it is so, so good in this deck. So that is it for my Chaos Gallimon deck profile with the LM pack. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What are you doing with Chaos Gallimon? What are you doing with the LM pack? And what decks are you looking forward to uh, with the upcoming scrambles? So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Thank you to our YouTube members for supporting this channel. It's people like Langlong, Big Z11, and Coffee Deus who make videos like this possible.